Hey guys, just picked up a ProFab Outdoors windshield protector and wanted to give you my initial thoughts on this product. So this is on a uh, 2021 Ranger XP1000 and I bought it with the uh, tip out glass windshield, which anybody who has purchased one or priced one knows that they are quite expensive. So all the way home from the dealer, I uh, had rock chip anxiety, <laughs> hoping that I wasn't going to uh, take one on that new windshield. So luckily I was able to get it home, talk to the guys at ProFab, and they were really, really great to, uh, to talk to on the phone. Uh, like many others, they were dealing with some supply chain issues. And so uh, it was a couple of week wait uh, to get it, but they, uh, actually shot me a text message of the picture, the tracking and all that stuff. So, I mean, I was, uh, I was pretty psyched about that. Uh, get the product in. I mean, it's fairly straightforward. It's just a couple of, a uh, couple of buckle straps on the backside. So it feels pretty secure. Uh, as far as, you know, the thickness of the material too, I'd say it's about a quarter inch thick, you know, foam inside there. So, I mean, it feels, you know, it feels like it would protect the windshield from uh, from the majority of uh, of hits that it could take. So uh, I do like that it is cut out at the top. So whenever I add the uh, windshield kit, that that will uh, you know not pose any problems. One of the things that I really really dislike about this thing, though is that they just cut it flat at the bottom, leaving a good portion of the windshield exposed. Okay, maybe it's not a good portion, but any portion of the windshield being exposed is less than desirable. So I talked to them, they're like, well, try and pull it down as much as you can, and I did. So actually, it's exposed a little bit here on the top as well too. So. Is it going to be okay? Probably, but wouldn't that be a disappointment to know that you uh, went to the extent of paying for the padding and then you get a rock chip that whacks down there. So in my opinion, I think that uh, ProFab should uh, make a simple modification of the design and make these things to fit. So I talked to the guys there and essentially the uh, you know, the alternative was send it back and they'd be happy to refund my money, which is great, but not what I want. What I want is I would like a, uh, a windshield cover that actually fits for my unit. So that was a little bit of a disappointment, but um, we're gonna roll with it and, uh, you know, just roll the dice and hope that nothing goes down in that area there. You know I mean? It's covering 95% of it, so. Anyway, I uh, have not trailered it yet, but again, it seems like it's uh, pretty solid. So I think that uh, it'll probably do fine on the trailer. But uh, if anything more happens, I will definitely shoot an update to the video. But that is my initial thoughts on the uh, ProFab windshield cover.